Have you ever tried to open a bottle of pills or a cleaning product only to feel like you're solving a Rubik's Cube? While this may be frustrating, child resistant closures, or CRCs, are the superheroes of packaging, keeping curious little fingers away from potentially harmful substances and remaining accessible to adults. They're like tiny fortresses designed to thwart the most determined of tiny hands and give peace of mind to parents everywhere. So let's take a closer look at how child-resistant closures have evolved and their current testing methods. By the end of this short lesson, you will be able to discuss the history of child-resistant closures, analyze child-resistant closure testing, discuss common child-resistant closures, and examine a real-world example of a child opening these closures. Child-resistant closures have a fascinating history, marked by concerns over child safety and regulatory efforts to mitigate accidental poisonings. Here is a condensed timeline. Now let's take a look at the testing component of child-resistant closures. Child-resistant closures undergo rigorous testing to ensure they meet specific safety standards. Two prominent organizations, ASTM International and the International Organization for Standardization, or ISO, have established testing protocols for CRCs. Here's an overview of the testing methods commonly used. These testing standards ensure that child-resistant closures are effective in preventing access by children while remaining accessible to adults. Manufacturers typically conduct these tests during the development and production phases to certify compliance with regulatory requirements. Additionally, regulatory agencies such as the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission and the European Medicines Agency may require specific testing protocols to approve child-resistant packaging for certain products. Also of note, each state has specific requirements for child-resistant closures, but most of these rules fall under the jurisdiction of the Poison Prevention Packaging Act standards created decades ago. Interestingly, and maybe obviously, for packaging to meet the CPSC's child-resistant standard, it must be subjected to real-world testing with children and adults. Packaging must be tested under normal conditions by a panel of children in three different age groups. For the packaging to successfully pass child-resistant testing, at least 80% of the children involved in the test should not be able to open the package throughout the entire 10-minute testing period. Within these 10 minutes, the children are instructed on how to open the package and that they may use their teeth. Just like real life, huh? Child-resistant testing often involves statistical analysis to determine the effectiveness of the packaging. The number of children who can open the packaging within a specified time frame, such as the first five minutes, is a crucial factor in determining the effectiveness of the packaging. By setting thresholds for the number of children who can open the packaging before it is deemed a failure, regulators can ensure that the packaging provides a reasonable level of protection against accidental ingestion by children. As with most packaging, child-resistant closures come in a variety of designs, each carefully crafted and tested. Let's take a look at some common closure styles and their typical applications. Push and turn or twist closures. This style requires the user to simultaneously push down and twist the cap to open the container. It often features a safety lock mechanism that engages when the cap is closed, requiring deliberate action to unlock it. Push and turn closures are commonly used for pharmaceuticals, over-the-counter medications, personal care products, and household chemical products. Squeeze and turn closures. Similar to push and turn, Squeeze and turn closures require the user to squeeze the sides of the cap while twisting to open the container. This design offers an additional level of child resistance by incorporating a squeezing action. Squeeze and turn closures are frequently found on pharmaceutical bottles, containers for liquid medications, and household chemicals. And flip top closures. These closures typically involve a mechanism that requires a specific combination of actions to open. 
which can be challenging for young children to figure out, but manageable for adults. These mechanisms often include pressing down and simultaneously flipping a cap or pushing and twisting motions. And there are some hacks out there as well. For folks that have no need for these child-resistant measures or have increased loss of dexterity in their hands, the traditional RX bottle closure can be flipped and put on backwards. This action makes the pill bottle no longer childproof and a whole lot easier to open. While this is not a universal action, based on our research. We have found that pharmacies will provide snap-off, snap-on caps as well when requested. CRCs are typically made from a variety of materials, each chosen for its suitability in providing both child resistance and functionality. Some common materials used for CRCs include polypropylene. Polypropylene is a widely used thermoplastic polymer known for its durability, chemical resistance, and versatility. It's commonly used in CRC closures due to its ability to withstand repeated opening and closing cycles without deforming or losing its child-resistant properties. High-density polyethylene is a strong, rigid plastic known for its resistance to chemicals and impact. It's commonly used in CRC closures for its durability and ability to maintain child-resistant features over time. Metal some CRC closures utilize metal components, such as aluminum or steel, to provide additional strength and security. Metal closures are often used in combination with plastic components to create a child-resistant locking mechanism. Blends and composites. Manufacturers may also use blends of different polymers or composite materials to achieve specific performance requirements for CRC closures. These blends may offer enhanced durability, chemical resistance, or aesthetic properties compared to single material closures, and flexible packaging materials with zipper mechanisms. Child safe zippers and flexible packaging are essential components in ensuring the safety of children around potentially hazardous products. These are typically made from high barrier films, multi layer structures, and some companies have been testing the use of PCR in both the film and the zipper closures. All right, to close this section out, child-resistant closures are indispensable safeguards. They're designed to protect children from accidental ingestion of harmful substances while allowing easy access for adults. Through innovative designs and rigorous testing, CRCs ensure safety without compromising convenience. So these closures, along with child-safe zippers and flexible packaging, represent a vital aspect of product safety, promoting peace of mind for caregivers and manufacturers alike.